Now, government borrowing on the money market continued to shoot up significantly as it accepted 99% of the bids tendered by investors for the just ended uh, Treasury bills auction. The sale of the short term securities was oversubscribed by about 40%, but once again, the cost of borrowing is a cause for concern to many analysts and watchers. Here's more uh, with uh, Patrick Adam Agama, who is head of trading at Republic Securities. He joins us on Zoom. Uh, Patrick, first of all, a rundown on uh, trading, how trading fared last Friday. Good afternoon, Dara. So um, with a target of 2.5 billion, um, 1.8 1, 1. billion, the government was able to raise 2.5 billion, which is over 40 percent. Um, and also we saw that uh, for the 91 day, uh, it jumped by 31.07 basis point to 20.26. Um, also for the 182 day, we saw a jump by 11.88 basis point and it cleared at 22.8. For the 364 day, it jumped by 10.02 basis points to close at 27.36. In all this, what we noticed was that the, the bids accepted uh, for the 91 day ranged closed at 20.51%, and for the 182 day, closed at 23%. And it should tell you the appetite of investors and where they want to be in the coming week. For the 364 day, we saw it closing at 27.69%. So tell you where that might be in the coming week. Yeah, uh, interesting. Today we've seen uh, pensioners hit the picket lines again, asking government to borrow from the uh, treasury market to pay their matured coupons. Is that workable? Your thoughts on that? I want to hear it. Yes, um, yeah, it, it's, it's very workable. Uh, it's something that the market needs. The confidence must come back to the market as soon as possible. But we know it will be a huge transfer of risks to treasury bills. Uh, we all know that the government is trying to make treasury bills risk free and untouchable. However, if this uh, is done and not structured properly, there'll be a lot of risk coming to the treasury bills and making it uh, uh, more, more riskier to. Uh, investors. Also, uh, if the government is able to pay the old bonds as they are supposed to be paid, mm. um, it's all, it will somehow defeat the 100% risk weighting government has attached to the old bonds, making them more desirable uh, than the new bonds, which is not what the government really wants. They want the new bonds to be more desirable than the old bonds. So it's, it's, it's a chance that the government must play well in order to restore confidence to the market. Well, 